Welcome to the More in Public Library Sign and Sing Storytime. My name is Whitney Jordan and I'm an instructor with Communication Junction and I cannot wait to share with you this fun story time I have all about bugs. So we're in July now and there's lots of creepy crawlies and bugs out so I can't wait to read to you these new books and teach you some new songs. If you are sharing this via social media, please make sure that you tag the Morton Public Library and Communication Junction. Also, I wanted to let you know that the, the focus of our story time here is for you to be able to take home three to five signs to practice all month long with your family and friends. So we'll review at the end just in case you've missed it or are overwhelmed with all the signs. So don't worry. If you miss anything, I'll review it at the end, okay? And, um, oh, I also want to tell you, make sure you have your bubbles because we do bubbles at the end or towards halfway through the, the story time. We always do bubbles, so make sure you grab your bubbles. And lastly, I just wanted to share with you the books that we're gonna read. In case you have them in your home library, I know my son likes to sit and read them as um, I'm sharing them or um, as somebody on the TV is reading them. So let me tell you the books that we're gonna read, and if you have them on your bookshelf, go grab them and come back, okay? So the first book we're gonna be reading is called in the Tall, Tall Grass, and this book is written by Denise Fleming, and it is published by the Macmillan Publishers. So if you have this book, go grab it. And then our second book is gonna be, this one's so fun, Where's the Ladybug? Where's the Ladybug? And this one is by Ingla Arnhedness, Arnhedness? I probably butchered her name, I'm really sorry, but it is published by Candlewick Press. So check this one out, this one's so fun. And then our last one, I'm just grabbing it off the floor. This is my favorite one of today. And this one is so cute and so fun and it's all about frogs. So this one is The Wide Mouth Frog. So funny. Um, and this one is written by Keith Faulkner and it is published by Candlewick Publishers also. So if you have any of these books, go grab them. If you don't currently own this one, you might want to by the end of this because it is funny and quite hysterical. So I think that's all the housekeeping I have for you guys. Let me think, let me run through my list. Yep, I think that's all I have. So if you are ready, I am ready. So before we start any story time, we always have to say hello. And if you know my hello song, make sure that you sing it with me. Otherwise, follow along so the next time you watch my story time, you can sing it with us, okay? So all you need to know for this first song is how to wave and how to say today. So you make two Y hands, you turn them towards yourself, and you move them down twice. So today, today, okay? So here we go. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you today? Good job, friends. Did you sing along with me? I hope you did. So if you are doing great or well or fine, you're going to take your five hands, so you have your all five fingers, and you take your thumb and you point it to yourself and say, I'm fine. You ready? Follow along. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. Hope you are too today. Good job, friends. And last, we always have to say hello to our friends and our neighbors and our family and our cats and our dogs, right? So my next song, you need to know the sign for friends. So you take your two index fingers and you hook them one way and you hook them the next way. That's a sign for friend, and we're gonna use that throughout all class today, sign for friend. In my song, I say neighbor, but we sign friend because it's a lot, it's just easy. So here we go, are you ready? Turn to your neighbor and wave hello. Turn to your neighbor and wave hello. Turn to your neighbor and wave hello. Wave hello today. Hello friends, welcome to this story time all about bugs. So to sign bugs, you use your three fingers and you take your thumb and you point it to your nose and then you bend these two fingers. So bug, bug, and we are gonna use that sign for lots of different bugs throughout today in our stories and our songs. So let me check my notes really quick here. Oh, our first song is so fun. It is about a bug 
specifically about a fly. So you make an F hand. This is the letter F. You make an F hand shape. So your finger, index finger and your thumbs together and three fingers up. And then you fly it away. And you can do it with both hands. Fly it away. Let's try it again. Fly it away. One more time. Fly it away. Okay. So let me see your two hands and hide them behind your back. So this is how we start this song. And we are going to sing this song three times because the first time I just want you to listen and get the tune and get the words and the movement. And then the second time I'm hoping that your parents will sing along with me because they'll, they'll have picked it up a little bit to be able to sing it along with me. And then the third time I'm hoping every single one of us are singing together. Young and old, we're all singing together. So we like repetition. Repetition is how we learn. And so we sing it three times. So hopefully by the third time, our little ones are singing with us. So this first time, just listen and learn and watch my signs. Are you ready? It's called Two Little Shoe Flies. Okay, here we go. Two little shoe flies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Our flies hit and then they came back. So let's do that again. Say again. So you take one hand and you bend the other hand and you say again. Let's do that again. So show me your two hands and hide them behind your back. Are you ready? Here we go. Two little shoe flies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Good job, everybody. I hope your parents joined in with me. Now this last time, we're gonna all do it together, okay? We're gonna hide our hands, we're gonna fly them forward, and we're gonna sing about Peter and Paul. Are you ready? Let me see your hands. And hide them behind your back. Here we go. Two little shoe flies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Those are our flies. All right, are you ready? This time we're gonna fly Peter and Paul up to the sky. Are you ready? One, two, three, fly away! Okay. Peter and Paul are all done. Our flies flew away. So at the end of songs, at the end of books, at the end of whatever activity you might be doing, we always like to um, sign all done. So you take two uh, five hands and you just shake them. All done, all done, or the end. At the end of a book, we could say the end or all done. So we do that a lot as well. So that's a new sign to learn. All right, let me check my, ooh, guys, we, are ready to read our first book in the tall, tall grass. So I'm gonna teach you some signs throughout the book. Um, grass is one of them I'm gonna teach you, but before we do that, we have to sing. So there's this fun little song that we sing before we read every book. And you can do this at home too, before you read books at night before bedtime or nap time or whenever you read a book. So you need to know the sign for book. So you take your two hands and you open them for book. Book, you need to know the sign for time. You point to your watch, time, and you know the sign for a friend. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, the, the song kind of left my head for a second. So here we go. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. Good job. So when we sing that two other times for our two other books, you sing along with me, okay? So our first book, In the Tall, Tall Grass. So to make it, to do sign grass, sorry, you take your five hand and you turn it up so your palm's facing up and you put it under your chin like the grass is tickling your chin. And that's the sign for grass. So when you go outside and you look at the grass, do this sign for your little ones and they'll start to recognize that that sign means grass and that is grass on the ground, okay? Correlations, putting it together, right? So, in the tall, tall grass. So some of, well, I'll just teach you some of the signs as we go through the pages, but you also need to know, so you need to know grass and you need to know the sign for bug, which we talked about, three fingers, thumb on your nose, yep, and then bend your fingers, bug, 
Okay, so here we go. This one's super fun. And the tall, tall grass. In the tall, tall grass. There's the caterpillar over there. So peeking through the grass. Crunch, munch, caterpillar lunch. Let me show you the sign for caterpillar. I have to put the book down. Caterpillar. You hold your arm out and you take your index finger and you run your caterpillar creepy crawly across your arm. Caterpillar. Crunch, munch, caterpillar lunch. Dart, dip, hummingbird, sip. So you do a hummingbird. Beep, beep, and they're sipping. <laughs> hummingbird, sip. This book has such colorful pages, it's wonderful. Strum, drum, bees, hum. Make the sound of a bee, Bzzz. And a bee, you take your fly hand and you hit your cheek and then you swat it off. Bee, bee, good job. Crack, snap, wings, flap of the bird. Flap your wings, flap, 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 flap of the bird. So cool. Ants, pull, tug, ants. Sign bug for ants, ants lunge. Lug, sorry. Pull, tug, ants, lug. <laughs> sorry about that. Slip, slide, snakes, glide. Let me hear your snake. Good job. Rich, ratch, moles, scratch. Now moles, this one's a fun one. Moles, you're like scratching through because you're digging like a mole, scratch. Moles, scratch, just what they're doing, right? Skitter, scurry, beetles, bugs, hurry. Beetles, hurry, bugs. Zip, zap, tongues, slap, snaps, tongues, snap. You take your two fingers and you move it back and forth under your chin. Frog. Hip, hop, ears flop. You wear your ears, they flop. So the bunny, you take your two fingers and you cross them and you bend them. Bunny. Stop, go. Fireflies, glow. So the sign for stop and go. Those are fun ones. Fireflies, glow. Lunge, swoop, bat, swoop. Bats, you take your index fingers and you cross them. Bat. Ooh, stars bright, moon light. Stars, you take your two index fingers and you go like this. So stars, bright, moon light. C finger, C hand, and you move it up towards the moon. Moon light. Good night. Tall, tall grass. Good job, friends. That's such a fun book and it's so colorful. You should definitely check that out at your library. More than library would be a great place to check it out. Say, all done. The book is all done. The end. Very good, friends. All right, let's see what is next on ooh, my list. Who is ready to get your wiggles out? Are you ready to get your wiggles out? I have been sitting for quite a while, so I am ready to get my wiggles out. And this one is so fun. It, you have to stand up, and if you don't stand up, it's okay. You can do the sitting down, but I'm gonna stand up. So if you wanna stand up too, I'm gonna move my chair, so hold on. Okay, here we go. You ready? I'm gonna sing it once, and then we're gonna do it again, and then we're gonna do it with different body parts. Are you ready? So it goes like this. A fly is on my toe, a fly is on my toe. Hi-ho, watch me blow, not watch me blow. A fly is on my toe. How fun is that? And we're gonna do that with other body parts. Are you ready? So we're gonna do that one more time with the fly on our toe. And if you want, you can even put the fly on your toe. I don't wanna, I'll go out of camera if I just <laughs> put the fly on my toe. But if you wanna put the fly on your toe, you can do that too. Are you ready? The fly is on my toe. The fly is on my toe. Hi ho, watch me blow. The fly is on my toe. How about the fly is on your elbow? You ready? The fly is on my elbow. The fly is on my elbow. Hi-ho, watch me blow. 
The fly is on my elbow. Shoot fly, get that fly off of your elbow. So funny. What about bull? Oh, the fly. The fly is on your head. Oh no, there's a fly on your head. The fly is on my head. The fly is on my head. Hi ho, watch me blow. The fly is on my head. Oh no, you have a fly on your head. Shoot fly, don't bother me. Shoot fly. <laughs> Let's do one more. How about the fly is on your nose. A fly is on your nose. A fly is on my nose. Hi ho, watch me blow. The fly is on my nose. Go off of my nose, you fly. Oh goodness, that song is so fun. You can do that with any body parts. The fly is on your knee, the fly is on your back, the fly is in your ear. You can do it with any body part. So you practice that all month long, okay? All right, so follow along with this little rhyme. You ready? Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go stomp, stomp, stomp. One little body turns around. One little bottom sits on the ground or the chair. And I'm gonna sit on my chair, so let me get it back here. Okay. That was a super fun song. And I hope you practice the fly. And land the fly, oh, you could even land the fly on mommy's head and sing it to mommy or sing it to daddy or grandma or grandpa or your aunts or your uncles or your friends or your neighbors. Say the fly is on your head and then you can sing it and teach them about flies. So we have another book to read. So remember, when we read our books, we have to sing our song, right? So here we go, show me your books. Good job. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, we are going to read The Wide Mouth Frog. But before we do that, I want to teach you a fun little counting song about frogs, and I almost forgot about it. I'm so sorry. So this song is so fun, so you need to know the, si the sign for frog, so you remember you take your two fingers, you put it under your chin, and you move them back and forth, frog. And then you need to know the how to sign numbers. And you can always just say them, or you can sign them. And maybe the more and more that you practice, the more and more you'll get it. So let me teach you the numbers really quick. We're gonna go from one to 10, are you ready? So we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, you take your pinky and your thumb, six, seven, you take your ring finger and your thumb, eight, your middle finger and your thumb, nine, your index finger and your thumb, and then 10, you put your thumb up in the air and you shake it, 10. All right, so this song is to the tune of 10 Little Indians, so that'll help you out, mom and dad, and we're gonna sing it twice. So first time, just listen to me, and the next time, hopefully, you can sing it along with me, and we're gonna talk about um, frogs, and the frogs are going to be hopping all around. Are you ready? Here we go. One little, two little, three little frogs. Four little, five little, six little frogs. Seven little, eight little, nine little frogs. Ten little frogs hopping all around. <laughs> Is that fun? Hops, uh, frogs do hop all over the place. So you can add parents anything really um, to this song. We're gonna be doing different songs all month long, or different animals all month, uh, different bugs, animals all month long to this song. So you can add cats and dogs, you can add brushing your teeth, and really you can add anything you want in and just add it to um, the Ten Little Indian song. So let's do it one more time and hopefully you can sing along with me. Are you ready? One little, two little, three little froggies, four little, five little, six little froggies, seven little, eight little, nine little froggies, ten little froggies hopping all around. Good job, friends! Do you like frogs? I'm not a huge fan of frogs, but I did um, once as a pet have an albino water frog. 
and that was really interesting and he kept he always would jump out of his um, water container so that's my story about frogs but I'm not a huge huge fan of frogs <laughs> so but that's a song about frogs so this next book is hysterical I absolutely love this book and it is called the wide mouth frog and we it's a little pop-out book so it's kind of cool and we are gonna read it together right now so here we go there's the wide mouth frog look at that ribbit 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 and his tongue it's got a fly on the tongue ribbit ribbit the wide mouth frog I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies said the wide mouth frog shooting out his tongue long sticky tongue can you act like a frog as he hopped along, he met a blue feathered bird. I am a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wiggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his beak. Snip, 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 snap. The sign for worm. Hold your hand up and your worm goes right along your hand. That's what the birds eat. Next, the wide mouth frog met a furry brown mouse. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, mouse? I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the mouse, wrinkling her whiskers. The wide mouth frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green alligator. Comp, 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 alligator. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, Mr. Alligator? I eat delicious wide mouth frogs, replied the gator, showing his sharp white teeth. Let me see your teeth. Ah, that's a little scary. He's going to eat our wide mouth frog. The wide mouth frog stopped catching flies. He gulped. Then he puckered his lips. Let me see you puck your lips. And he made his mouth as small as possible. And he said, Oh, you don't see many of these around here, do you? He said. And he leaped back into the pond with a splash. <laughs> he was not going to get eaten today, was he? <laughs> that is a fun little book. I do I like that book a lot and I like how it pops out. So, anywho. Guess what time it is? It is our favorite time of story time. I like all the books, but sometimes the kiddos really, really like the bubbles. So it is time for bubbles. So if you have your bubbles, I've got my bubble machine and I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna make the bubbles go everywhere. So if you don't have bubbles, just pop them on my screen. And if you do, blow bubbles with me and have mom and dad blow bubbles. So before we do that, you need to know the sign for bubbles. You take two, your two five hands and you make O's and you do bubbles and a sign for more, and a sign for please. And that's just allowing our kids to communicate a little bit better with us as to what they want, okay? Let me get my bubbles on. They're coming. There they are, ready? Bubbles floating all around, all around, all around. Bubbles floating all around. some bubbles I have lots of bubbles here I wish you guys were here with me you would have so much fun popping all these bubbles we will be together soon I hope did you have fun popping the bubbles can you say more bubbles please mom and dad aunt and uncle family friends neighbors who's ever with you more bubbles please all right let's do it one more time here we go bubbles floating all around all around, all around, bubbles floating all around, pop, pop, pop. All right, I, I shot it up in the air, so hopefully I'll have a lot of bubbles coming down that I can pop. Finish popping your bubbles too while I pop mine. I got all of my bubbles. Did you get them all? Did you get all your bubbles? I sure hope you did. I had a lot of bubbles here. And I kind of wish you were here to help me pop them. But one day we will be back together in story times. So follow along with me. Ready? 
Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go stomp, stomp, stomp. One little body turns around. One little bottom sits on the ground. Good job, friends. I only have one book left with, to share with you today. And then we're gonna review and we'll be all done. But don't worry, I will see you again because we have another story time later on in the month, okay? So let's sing our song and read our book and then we'll review and then we'll sing our goodbye song, okay? Here we go, let me see your sign for book. Perfect, good job friends, here we go. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. Good job, friends. Our last book is kind of like a peekaboo book. So you can cover your own eyes or maybe mommy or daddy or whoever's with you can cover your eyes and go, where is it? Where is it? Peekaboo. So the book is called, Where is Ladybug? It's really cool. It has like this little felt feel book. It's pretty cool. Where is Caterpillar? Remember I taught you Caterpillar. Where is Caterpillar? Hmm. Where do you think Caterpillar is? Hmm. You want to see? Cover your eyes. Say, peekaboo, there he is under the leaf. Under the leaf. Where is B? B. Hmm. Where? What do you think? Under this flower? No. What about this flower? No. What about this flower? Are you ready? Cover your eyes. <gasps> Peekaboo! Here he is! Oh, where is the snail? This one's a fun one. So you take your two fingers, you put them out, and it's like a fist, and then you fist the other over the other, and this is a snail. Kind of looks like a snail. Oh, he's he's peeking out. Where is the snail? Hmm, where do you think the snail is? Let's see, cover your eyes. <gasps> Peekaboo, here he is. He's under this orange rock. <laughs> Peekaboo. Where is the ladybug? I bet you she's behind one of the white flowers. What do you think? Cover your eyes. <gasps> Peekaboo, here he, here he, here it is. There's the ladybug. Oh, this last page is fun. Where are you? Where are you? Are you at home? Or are you at grandma's or grandpa's? Are you in the car? Maybe you're watching this in the car. Where are you? Close your eyes. <gasps> Peekaboo! Look! It's a mirror! How fun is that? There you are! <laughs> the end. All done. That's a cute little book. I do enjoy it. All right, friends, our time is just about up. Actually, I think I went over a little bit, I'm sorry. I tend to talk a lot, I do apologize for that. So let's go ahead and review. If you are new with us, um, and this is maybe your first sign, or first time signing, um, and just some words that we are gonna do every story time for you to, to just start learning, is we are always going to do the sign for book, as we sing our song, right? So book, we're always gonna do the sign for all done, the sign for bubbles, and the sign for more. So those are some signs you can practice right now with anything you do uh, every day, all day. More uh, play, more outside, more um, food. You can just add more to a lot of those things. And then if you are looking to add on to your signs, um, you've already kind of mastered those signs and you're just looking for a little more. Today we talked about bugs. We talked about caterpillars. We talked about flies and the shoe flies. And, oh, we talked about frogs, didn't we? We sung a song about frogs, didn't we? Well, perfect. Well, I would like to sing the Shoe Fly song one more time with you. And I'd also like to thank you for joining me today with the Morton Public Library and Communication Junction. I had so much fun reading with you and singing with you, and I cannot wait to see you again. So we'll sing our Shoe Fly song, and then I'll teach you my goodbye song. Are you ready? So let me see your hands. And hide them behind your back. Are you ready? Two little shoe flies sitting on a log. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. 
Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. And let's have our flies fly away. Ready? One, two, three, fly away. Peter and Paul are gone. <laughs> All done. Good job, friends. All right, so to sing my goodbye song, you need to know this, you need to know how to wave and friend and time and smile and wink your eye. All right? Follow along next time you'll get it for sure. Here we go. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. I cannot wait to see you until next time. Have a great rest of your day.